there are more than 50 adobe applications and each one of them has their own advantages disadvantages and features even though some of these applications can be confused with each other people have been asking questions like these Hey guys, I'm Evan Tide and today I'm going to talk about and explain all the different applications that Adobe has and their usage in 10 minutes. Without further ado, let's get right into the video on all the Adobe applications explained. Adobe Photoshop. So Photoshop is one of the most famous tools and every designer photographer knows about it. It is used for photo manipulation, retouching, graphics design, web and app prototype. So basically, if you know your way around Photoshop, you can use it to do anything, literally anything. Yes, even this and this cringy shit as well. Adobe Illustrator is a well-known illustrating software. While Photoshop has a wide, ever-expanding capabilities, Illustrator is much more focused on specific tasks. It is essentially a drawing program based on vector graphics, vector art, while Photoshop is based on pixel. A vector graphic is a graphic that can be expanded to the size of Empire State Building or it can be reduced to a size of an ant, and it still won't lose its details and quality. As the name suggests, Illustrator, you can use it to illustrate and design vector graphics. Adobe After Effects It is one of the most popular tool for visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing. Although you wouldn't use it to create an entire movie, it can be used to create simple animation and transition between text. Adobe After Effects can be used for VFX, motion graphic, and compositing as I said earlier. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. Adobe XD It was launched a few years back as a rival to Sketch. Adobe XD is a vector-based UX tool for prototyping web and mobile apps. In simpler words, it is used for UI creation and UX development. It is a free of cost application which can be used and downloaded from Adobe Cloud to which I will come back later in this video. Now coming to Adobe InDesign. InDesign is a page layout tool that is used primarily for print but it also can be used for digital publishing. It is typically used by graphics designer to make posters, documents, flyers, newspaper, books and more. Adobe Lightroom is used for image organization and image manipulation. It is a good tool for photo studio or photographers that need to handle large number of images. It doesn't have all the features, all the editing features offered by Photoshop but that does make it for a simpler interface which is easy to use. Simple tasks can be performed quickly like color correction, resize, etc. Adobe Premiere Pro. This is one of the most popular video editing softwares. It is used by film and TV industries as well as YouTubers and design studios. So all the cringy shit you see on YouTube is most probably designed on Adobe Premiere Pro. This software can be used to create full length films. It is a timeline based video editing software in which you can add and edit clips and also apply different effects, text and transition on your clips to create stunning videos. It is quite a complex tool to learn and for this reason Adobe has recently released a more lightweight video editing app called Premiere Rush which I will come back to later in this video. Adobe Fresco is recently launched for digital painting. It is a combination of raster brush tools from Photoshop and vector design. It can be used to create stunning arts like these. Adobe Rush. It is a video editing software which is lighter version of Adobe Premiere Pro. The app supports video cropping, resizing, rotation and color correction plus a host of sound sequence and editing features. All your content is saved in cloud ideal for editing across multiple devices. So if you're editing on your Android or iOS device, you can quickly switch to your PC to use this application there. Adobe Dimension is a tool used for mocking up, compositing and rendering photorealistic 3D images based on 2D and 3D models. It's used by graphics designer to make a mock-up of a product or its design. Adobe Dreamweaver. It was created way back in 1997. Dreamweaver is a tool people used to build website without actually learning to code. It was really popular back in the days, but nowadays it has lost its popularity and many alternative to this application are there in the market. Some of the alternatives or competitors for Adobe Dreamweaver would be Wix or WordPress in which you can create a website without actually using, without actually learning to code. Next up is Adobe Bridge. It works as a media manager. It helps keep the work organized by locating assets Adobe Bridge helps photographers, graphics designers, and creative professionals to manage their visual assets efficiently. 
Besides keeping graphics files organized and easy to find, it also includes some additional features like Adobe Stock and Adobe Portfolio. Adobe Media Encoder is a software which is used to render videos created in Premiere Pro or After Effects. Well, yes, you can use the inbuilt render feature in both of these applications, but the good thing about Media Encoder is that it compresses the video without losing any noticeable quality. Adobe Flash Pro is a simple animation app used for creating animation and games. If you've ever played an online game, you would notice your browser asking you to install Adobe Flash Player to run the game online. Adobe Flash Builder, on the other hand, is more focused on coding rather than animation. And there is another application called Adobe Scout, which is used to determine the problems with the game created with Adobe Flash Builder. All of these applications are outdated now and are replaced by a new application called Adobe Animate, which is a 2020 version of creating animations. The interface of this application is a little bit similar to Adobe After Effects, but it is a lot more powerful and you can actually export your animation in HTML5 format. Adobe Character Animation, you can use this to create 2D animation and apply your facial expression to that of the character you designed with the usage of your PC's webcam. This makes animation easier as you won't have to animate every keyframe of your character to make it sync with the audio. Adobe Fuse on the other hand, Adobe Fuse is also used to make 3D models. It is totally focused on human models, which can be exported to Photoshop or any other 3D software. It is a really simple application that can be used to create highly customized characters. Adobe Acrobat is used for viewing, editing PDF files and also printing and signing all kinds of PDF files. All of the apps that till now I have talked about, Adobe gives them in a bundle for $80 per month and this is called Adobe Creative Cloud. Adobe Stock, it is a website where you can buy stock photos for commercial and personal use. Adobe Typekit on the other hand is a software where you can buy fonts for commercial and professional or personal use. Adobe Behance is an online web application which is used by creators all around the world to showcase their work to employers or their clients. Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Premiere Pro Elements are simpler version of Photoshop and Premiere Pro, which can be used by beginners for photo editing and video editing. Adobe Spark is an online web application used to create simple graphics and some of the features in Adobe Spark, adding text, rotation, resizing, etc. This is basically used for creating graphics and web pages and short videos. It is aimed towards marketing and social media professionals, as well as amateurs and beginners who want to create content for Facebook, Twitter or Instagram but don't have time to learn more complicated software such as Photoshop or Illustrator. Many of the apps that we talked about in this video have their mobile counterparts like Photoshop Fix, Photoshop Mix, Adobe Comp, Adobe Capture, Adobe Cloud, Adobe Rush, PSC Camera recently launched application with filters to collect pictures, Adobe Draw, Adobe Sketch used for drawing on Android and iOS devices. There are many Adobe software that have been discontinued Adobe Speed Grade for color grading and color correction. Story Plus used for writing movie script. Adobe Muse is used for web design. Adobe Firework was used as a graphics design tool for web designers. Well, that's about it for this video. And to be honest, it took a lot of time to create this video. If you're kind enough to hit that subscribe button, it will make my day. And on this YouTube channel, I'll be posting videos related to graphics designing, video editing, and much more. So stick around for that. And I'm Eventide and I'm signing out.